major support for Able to Learn Air. Green Mountain Support Services to empower neighbors with disabilities to be home in the community. Major support also includes Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Allah Israel, all people, no limits. Welcome to this edition of Able to Learn Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able for eight seasons here in Vermont and beyond. I'm Lauren Seiler. I'm Eileen Seiler. We would like to thank our sponsors, Green Mountain Support Services, Washington County Mental Health. On this show, uh, it's more like a commentary on this uh, particular episode of Able Good On Air. Um, recently, there's been a lot of police brutality uh, against people with special needs and normal people that are listening <coughs> out there. Um, recently, there was a uh, there was a police firing uh, back in 2014. Eric Gardner uh, was a young man um, in the streets of New York, and he had gotten choked by an NYPD officer. So. According to the Guardian um, uh, online Guardian newspaper, um, there there is um, a situation a couple of days ago that uh, a couple of days ago this month, um, Eric Gardner was fired. Um, the officer was fired um, due to the chokehold. Um, that he gave Eric Gardner. If someone says, I can't breathe, right? You cannot breathe, you, you have to let go. Um, you want to say anything to that? Yes, because the officer <coughs> shouldn't have <coughs> put him in a chokehold. He shouldn't use so much force. Mm -hmm. You know, he should have said, okay, you can't breathe, call an ambulance, you need an acid pump, or okay. something. Okay. But you don't, use, you don't use your police brutality against people. Why? Um, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad the police office, I'm glad that the, the police commissioner in New York fired him because he had to, he had to do something because I think the police commissioner in New York did the right thing. Okay. Um, according to the Guardian um, easing, um, 1,860 days after Eric Gardner, back in 2014, was killed on the streets of Staten Island, New York, his family finally received a sliver of justice. On, on this past Monday, um, by the way, if this um, is a taped program, so uh, Monday the 19th, um, on Monday the 19th, the New York Police Department NYPD Commissioner James O'Neill announced the M that the NYPD would be would fire, and they did, fire Daniel Pantaleo, who, who on that hot summer's day in July 2014 placed an unarmed 43-year-old man in a banned chokehold that contributed to Garner's death. The decision <clears throat> followed years of protests, stalls, investigations, and secrecy in the case that came to embody the fractured relations between <clears throat> communities of color and police, not just New York City, but around the U.S. And Pantaleo's firing, <clears throat> the Garner's family insists was only the beginning of the process. At a rally outside New York City or NYPD headquarters in Lower Manhattan on Monday, um, the 19th of August, Gardner's <coughs> mother, Gwen Carr, struck a defiant tone. We are not finished. <clears throat> we have other off officers that we have to let go after. Okay. You should hurt... You, you have heard the names and know the wrongdoing they have done. And she showed pictures at the press conference. The family had long demanded that in addition to Pantaleo, 
Several other officers involved in Gardner's arrest should be punished for their roles in the incident. Um, and uh, Gardner's mother wants them to lose their jobs. But even after the announcement of Pantaleo's dismissal on Monday, the fates of the other officers remain largely opaque as NYPD internal disciplinary pl um, procedures remain shrouded in secrecy. Okay. I know that there are situations like the thin blue line where cops must protect cops, but this needs to stop. Um, there's been a recent case in Montpelier about a week and a half ago where a 62-year-old man named Mark Johnson died at the hands of uh, one police officer who mm -hmm. shot him because the police officer was scared mm -hmm. of a pellet gun. Um, you do not shoot a, um, going to this case, you do not shoot a, um, Un uh, well, a mentally challenged man. Um, last week, I had a chance to go to city council, and I had spoken on behalf of the public in city council. There needs to be more crisis intervention when it comes to um, shooting people with mental and physical disabilities. There either needs to be a taser involved, or a non-lethal way of, um, of putting down somebody in terms of non-lethal ways. Montpelier Police Department only has one non-lethal way of putting someone down. One altered gun of um, which it, when you shoot the gun turns out to be a bean bag to disable the, um, the suspect, okay? Um, there has to be more non-lethal ways. Do you want to say something about that? Yes, uh, the police officer didn't do the right thing. He should have waited for Washington County. Should have called Washington mm -hmm. County right away. And, they, and, and then that's how they can get the, the, <coughs> the problem solved instead of, instead of shooting a person. Who's disabled? You cannot turn around and shoot, uh, um, and shoot people. There's been other incidents of non-lethal ways that police deal with people. Somewhere in the Midwest, um, some time back, <coughs> a couple of years ago, someone got tased uh, on a bus uh, when the police officer got scared. Um, or the bus driver got scared um, in terms of the person not paying their fare or didn't see the person pay their fare. Um, you can't just tase someone. There's been incidences with tasers and um, tasing autistic people. You can't walk into a movie theater. This happened out west a couple of um, years ago also. You can't walk into a movie theater. If someone wants popcorn, a, a, an attendant in the movie theater can't get scared of a person with, a, a, with autism and call the police. So the police use the taser against this person with his nurse there. So why are people so scared with people with special needs? This is absolutely ridiculous. Too many mm. people with special needs are dying at the hands of police. This needs to stop. The man with the badge needs to get fired. Um, you know, there's been numerous cases with this. Um, when police officers become police officers, they take an oath of office. When police officers become police officers, they take, or before they become police officers, they take psychological exams. Before you give the man a badge, make sure he's able, mind-wise, to become a cop. Because when you shoot somebody, you know, um, you're doing the wrong thing. There's been nine cases of people um, <clears throat> in New York City that have become cops, and now those cops have committed suicide. Protect the cops, but protect the people first also. 
You can't shoot first and ask questions later. This is true. This, in, in cases like Mark Johnson, this, um, when you're given a gun, you have to know how to use it. Um, I know that Vermont, um, and I'm speaking against the Second Amendment, okay? I, I, I know people from the NRA are going to hate me later, but who cares? Um, who gives the rats behind? Um, when you handle a gun, um, you got to know what you're doing, okay? Um, you know, this is not a camera where you forget to take the lens cap off. You, you, you know, when you handle a gun, you got to know what you're doing. Um, and there was a case where someone walked into a Walmart in um, El Paso, Texas, and shot up people on a Saturday or weekend. They were doing back, back to school shopping. You shot a lot, he shot a lot of people. Um, there was a case... In, in Pennsylvania, you know, these synagogue shootings have to stop. These church shootings have to stop. These mo mosque shootings have to stop. We all have to band together and get rid of um, the right to bear arms. If, if we're going to get rid of the right to bear arms, there was, there's a, a case now pending. Um, Burlington City Council is trying to turn around and uh, have the police um, not have guns and just try to have them as peace officers. There are cases in the, in the United Kingdom where there are peace officers. If a peace officer needs someone with a gun, they call the cops with a gun. Um, but if you're going to learn how to use a gun, use it properly. Um, <laughs> years ago... Back in Little House on the Prairie days, uh, 1800s, 1900s, um, people used guns to hunt for food, okay? Let's go back to that. There are situations in uh, Vermont where people can't get to a grocery store, and they have to shoot to eat, okay? Um, don't shoot people. You can shoot an animal or disable it uh, without really, you know, killing it. Um, you can disable it to eat it. Um, you know, there's just other ways of doing, you know, there's just other ways of doing things. We need to love people, not turn around and go into a Walmart and shoot people. This just cannot happen. So, um, I don't know what Donald Trump is doing. Uh, you know, this is one for the crapper. You know, there's even, uh, um, talking about Donald Trump, he's doing so bad now that there are uh, animations or, or pictures of him uh, of Trump toilet paper. Um, you know, our president on a piece of toilet paper? Um, <laughs> there's one for the crapper. As they say, the shit hits the fan. Uh, the shit is going to hit the fan if um, if we don't stop killing people with guns. You know, um, this country, um, this beautiful United States of ours, mm. was founded on immigrants. Don't get rid of the immigrants. Um, um, there's a lot of people that came to this country that had nothing, my father-in-law included. Okay, and he made a life for himself. Okay, get rid of ICE, get rid of the guns, get rid of the, the, the Second Amendment, and find a way to use guns properly. Um, it, it, I think it also, also has to do with mental health. Trump just overturned the mental health law that Obama had put in place. If your social security check, and this is the last thing, if your social security check is used for mental health purposes, medication, other services, you should not have a gun. More mental health checks need to be done 
on people that want to become police mm -hmm. officers and carry <coughs> concealed <coughs> weapons. <coughs> you cannot just open <coughs> fire whenever you feel like it. This just does not work. You want to say something? I think that police here are trigger happy. Yeah, to police to in the police in Vermont are trigger happy. People in Vermont are trigger happy. They use guns. Um, yes, the police officer, in terms of Mark Johnson, was scared. But talk to the person. Have a negotiator. Don't just turn around and shoot somebody. This mm -hmm. just does not work and mm -hmm. will not work. No. Nope. And we at Abel de la Nair, <clears throat> um, sound off with the victims um, of shootings. Uh, the victims of El Paso, <laughs> the victims of uh, the the shooting in um, Ohio, Ohio, the shooting, uh, the shootings in New York, the shootings in Pennsylvania. This needs to completely and totally turn a 360 um, and a circle 360 and not happen. Anymore. This puts an end to this commentary mm. of gun violence. By the way, there are more people with special needs that die at the hand of gun violence than mostly everything else. Um, birth defects can happen with gun violence. You shoot somebody, they immediately have traumatic brain injury. This puts an end to this commentary of Abel de Lanier and gun violence. And uh, rest in peace, Mark Johnson. Rest in peace, all the victims of gun violence. Um, and people that uh, die at the hands of gun violence <coughs> on a yearly basis. I'm Lauren Seiler. I'm Arlene Seiler. See you next time on the next edition of Abel de Lanier. Um we would like to thank our sponsors, Green Mountain Support Services, Washington County Mental Health. Able to on air, major sponsorship was given by Green Mountain Support Services, empowering neighbors with disabilities to be home in the community. Also sponsorship was given by Washington County Mental Health Services, where hope and support come together. Allah Israel, all people, no limits.